everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. And in today's video, as you can see, we do have a 3D printer from Bamboo Lab. This is the Bamboo Lab A1 Combo. So this is their newest bed slinger 3D printer. And this one does come with the AMS light unit. So the auto, automatic material switching. So you can print with up to four different colors of materials in your prints. Now, right at the moment, I'm not particularly super interested in the fact that I can do multicolored prints. Typically the prints that I do are, you know, little pits, little parts and things like that for various, uh, various items. And I'm not really into printing multicolor or at least I haven't been up till now, but I will explore that as an option. For me, the thing that's most interesting in this here is I can load four different filaments and then basically not have to worry about them when I'm printing. If I wanna print one of one color in PLA, or if I wanna print something else in a different color, I can do that without having to manually switch the spools and, and load and unload filament in my printer. Like the prior printer I was using was a monoprice printer that was a couple years old. And uh, obviously that has a manual single color printing experience. So I thought this would be good. Test out some of the newer functionality that Bamboo Labs has brought to the market that everyone's raving about in their X1 Carbon, their P1P, their P1S lines. Um, and I thought I would try out the Bamboo Lab A1. So as you can see, I'm zoomed out as far as I can. This box is really pretty big. So what I'm planning to do here is just do an unboxing, show you what comes in the box in the combo, and then I'll end up probably setting this up over uh, in a different location, you know, recording some of that after it's set up. Maybe, you know, what does the test print look like? Look over the app and some other things, right? Just in case you're interested in getting one of these for yourself, you will know kind of what to expect So it does look like on here, it wants me to pull this out of the bag or pull this bag out of the box. So this just, so this just comes packed in a couple different pieces. So the way it looks like this is packed is on the top. So the way that this looks like it's packed is the top has the AMS unit and um, all the bits and parts for that. The topmost part of this includes the build plate and the quick start guide. So this does come with this gold bamboo textured PEI plate that says it can deal with PLA, ABS, and PETG. So that's what that looks like. And then you get a Bamboo Lab A1 with AMS Lite Quick Start Guide, which kind of goes over you know, your initial setup of this. A couple other warranty leaflets and safety disclaimers. So they do ship this, and I think they ship this with most printers I, I, that come with the AMSs at least, are the Bamboo Filament Swatches. Now this is not every filament available, but it gives you a pretty good idea of the overall different filaments that you can order from Bamboo's website. They come in a bunch of little, basic little uh, square prints, right? Tied together with a string. So that's actually pretty, pretty cool. I do like that. So if you're into, if you're part of the Bamboo membership and you want to, you know, order discounted filament and you want to look at the colors, uh, this basically allows you to do that. Now I have seen on their maker website, the sharing site for Bamboo, uh, people have made little uh, trays and things like that that you can put these in. So that's pretty cool. You do have a tool kit. So this will give you, you know, a few different tools for uh, for the unit that you'll need to, you know, one, put it together, um, you know, keep it lubed up. There's some lubricant and grease. There's, you know, a couple different T-handle tools for tightening various aspects of the uh, of the printer. So that's nice. I've also seen people print cases for these if you don't want to keep it in this uh, plastic box. So that's actually pretty cool as well. 
you get that. And then you get, you know, the different parts. So this is the AMS light base, right? So bamboo AMS light. And then you basically get, you know, four spool holders, right? Four spool holders that go on the light, that go on the AMS light when you assemble it. So those are kind of stuck in the corners there. And then you get down a little bit further and you will see this is the AMS light, um, you know, where the spool holders go and all the mechanisms for loading the filament. Uh, you get the standalone clamp-on arm. So this is if you're going to mount your filament on the top. So like a spool holder kind of screws together. And then, you know, routes through this. So this would be if you just bought the printer itself without the AMS unit, you will get that also. I think this might be the little uh, poop, poop scooper thing. Uh, power cable. I will say this is packaged really pretty well. Do not grab the X axis. So this is the top portion here. I mean, it's fairly, fairly well made and feels solid. And then this is the bed with the little screen on it, which kind of flips out to the front. Then you get the tubes for feeding the AMS, and then they give you a bamboo PLA basic, like 20 grams of filament, which I don't know what you would actually do with this other than just test that the printer works. Um, you're not gonna print much with what they give you here. And then that's basically it. I mean, it is very well packaged. You know, lots of foam and, and cardboard in here to keep this thing from moving around. So definitely, definitely really well packaged. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and take this off camera and set it up. And once I get it set up, I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's put together and um, there's more than just a bunch of parts. So let's hop on over and check it out. everybody so I just showed you some of the video of this printing and I have to say I'm pretty impressed um, just with the overall quality of this I mean you can see there are a few little hiccups on some of the layers where you can see the layer um, is not completely smooth like right here but overall I mean this is probably one of the better benches that I've ever been able to print uh, I spent a ton of time in the past with my old Monoprice Select 3D printer. And no matter what I could do, I could never get anything that looked this good. And this is actually with a uh, Hatchbox PLA, a white PLA, that it's actually kind of old and it's, I mean, it's not uh, dried out and I don't know how much humidity has been around. It's, it was just sitting in the box which I loaded as a generic PLA uh, when I set it up in the AMS. But just that, um, printing this, 
I think turned out really, really quite good. So yeah, this is uh, yeah very promising. So I'm going to obviously be playing around with this more over the next few weeks, and, and I'll probably have some subsequent videos to post on the channel with what uh, I'm using this for and any kind of experience that I've had with it. But again, this was just video to show the unboxing and a quick first print of the A1 combo. If you have any questions, go ahead and post those below. I'll be happy to answer. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.